I did manage to click record. So we have something going here. Ooh. Also good, we have water to drink. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Freemind 2.0. You might remember me from such videos as More Liquid Than The Last, as well as Cells DS. Um, you probably don't, but uh, that's all right. Um, hmm. Guess I'm deciding to come back and bring up me now? I don't know. I've been talking about doing this for a long time. And the biggest problem is I'm not exactly sober doing this, so this is also an exposure into who I am, what I've been doing, and how I've been doing things. Uh, I guess one of the biggest takeaways was uh, over time I became an alcoholic. Not like a severe one. Uh, some people get to the point where, you know, they get jitters and they have to, like, drink vodka, otherwise their body doesn't function, but I drink far more than I should, unfortunately, and, uh, admittedly, it's, it's, a uh, I make fun of myself for it, I think it's a pretty lame thing for me to do, and I accept that it's a lame thing now, and that I just, I, I choose to hurt myself, but that's another aspect of discussion where we can delve into that at another point. I guess I'm just trying to establish who I am, what I am, where I've gone from this channel before. Um, when I was younger, I was a sort of weird outcast kid. Uh, quite poor. Didn't really have much uh, access to a lot of things that other people did have. Once I did have access to it, I, I did usually try to do my best to manipulate it and have fun with it. One of the coolest things that has happened, uh, shout out to my brother, uh, when I had a Nintendo DS Lite, he bought me an R4 cartridge, which allowed me to put homebrew stuff onto it, and that was an exceptional experience, so that's cool. Um, Probably super vague to discuss, but really quick, R4 cartridge, literally a thing you could put into your Nintendo DS, put a uh, micro USB into, and upload homebrew onto it back in the day. Um, tons of this stuff exists now, and I'm sure anybody that know knows what it is. People that don't know clearly don't know, whatever, that's fine. Um, yeah, but uh, I guess really quickly going on from that journey of living in, in, you know, going to high school or going to junior high and then going to high school, et cetera, et cetera. Eventually things got really dark uh, and I started uh, consuming alcohol after high school uh, originally because there was a place that had a lot of cool alcoholic drinks to have uh, and I liked exploring it just to taste it I didn't really enjoy getting drunk much um, but progressively that was something that I allowed to infect my life so that's one of the more interesting things that people don't talk about in regards to addiction unfortunately is that it's something that happens where you know you don't sit there and say Oh, hey, I'm going to get addicted to this. <laughs> um, uh, usually, it's very innocent from the get-go. And then you keep diving into it. And unfortunately, you get stuck into it. It's a rut. Uh, people that end up there typically just aren't aware of what the there is. Or how they're even doing these wrong things to themselves, unfortunately. And, you know, you, you see it a lot of times. Um, and it doesn't even, it, again, we could, we could talk about drugs specifically, but addiction exists in so many different ways, right? Like, I know somebody that literally is far more addicted to food and sex than any sort of drugs in their life. That's not their problem. Um, <clears throat> I know other people that 
are addicted to their own um, discomforts almost. Like they're almost addicted to their own problems that they... That's, that's what they choose to acknowledge all the time. Um, everybody exists in a, in a, in a, you know, in a, in, a, in a different way, which is cool at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, I mean, again, I don't really judge anybody that's going through their own problems, mostly because, yeah, that'd be stupid. That'd be like saying, wow, I'm so much better. How could I be? look at what I do to myself, right? Like, so really quick, I hurt myself a lot with my drinking. Uh, I do smoke too much weed. I'm going to be honest about that. I finally am starting to realize that. Um, and it's, it's stuff like that. Like, it's recognizing that I could be here more present without any of these other extracurricular things that, you know, I consume, you know, like, at the end of the day, when I consume alcohol, I recognize that it's a, it's a very problematic thing that I'm doing to myself, mostly because a lot of it, it just leads to me not dealing with anything that I want to, it's sort of like, it's literally like sleeping for like two and a half hours, like while I'm consuming it. Like, the entire time that I'm drinking, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I don't have to think, I don't have to care, because I'm drinking the alcohol. And then after I drink the alcohol, it's like, oh, well, now you have to deal with being drunk. And it's like, congratulations, you've um, hurt yourself, essentially. Like, you've detrimented your yourself, right? So, it's stupid. I know that it's stupid. Um, the biggest problem is recognizing the issue and recognizing that you also aren't always the most equipped to deal with the issue. Um, I guess if we were to further along this context, right? So I started taking psychedelics. I uh, started eating mushrooms um, about five or six months ago. Officially, I'd say that I started consuming them as a therapeutic thing. Um, in September of last year. And I had decided that I was going to try to go on certain trips, experience certain things. And a lot of the things that I experienced were what I would call hell, to be honest. <laughs> I've been on a lot of bad mushroom trips, is what, what <clears throat> I would call them. But that is not any doing of the mushrooms themselves. That's simply because of the amount that I abuse myself. 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 The amount that I abuse myself. And then I sit there and say, hey, let's also take some mushrooms and get high and, you know, experience that. While you're on mushrooms, your brain sits there and basically says to you, Hey, dude, why do you hurt yourself like this? And so you have to, you have to, uh, you know, it's, it's, um, the way that I would describe it is, uh, there's this idea that enlightenment is the end game, you know? Um, there's this idea that once you become enlightened, there is, that's the, that's the finish line. You know, you're done growing as a, as a person or as a spiritual being. Uh, the truth is enlightenment is the, is the exact opposite that that's the enlightenment is the, is the beginning, right? So once you can see the things that you're doing to yourself wrong, or you can see, uh, what you do to others that harms them or harms your communication with them or yourself, like the, the, the connection to the network, you know, to the, to the node network of other people, when you harm that, um, and when you can see that, like that's the first level of um, enlightenment, is just being able to see what you're doing. Um, you aren't better than anybody else just because you can finally see the wrongs, A, in others. That's stupid. Being able to see the wrong in others is very worthless, right? Like. Anybody can judge others. That's a waste of fucking time. 
what you need to recognize is that yourself likely isn't the hot piece of shit you think you are all the time. Um, that's not to say that you should, you know, um, make yourself feel negative. Uh, but what, what it is to say is that your ego is, is a part of your life and you shouldn't let it become so infectious that you allow yourself to judge others in a way that at the end of the day, um, if, if you were to allow that reflection to come back to you, it's not cool, right? Like to sit there and judge other people all the time, it's a waste of your time. Mostly because judging is a very... You're spending a lot of time creating a judgmental view. And that's a waste of time. Because judging makes you seem way more worth than you are. How can you judge is, is a very cool thing that I've experienced or not experienced, but like I've listened to, right? Like for you to judge someone, you would have to have a lot of inherent value towards yourself. And the truth is yourself, typically you're worthless. I hate to break it to anybody here, right? Like most, most people are pretty worthless and expendable. And that's just a, a fact of life that people, uh, they really want to to be not the expendable thing, right? They don't want to be something like a cockroach that lives and eats food when it can. They don't want to be something like a a, a, a insect of any sort, or they don't want to sit there and say that just because they're human, they're not better than any other animal it's 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 very interesting to me the idea that we uh present so much uh worth onto ourselves i mean i've done it obviously we all do but really quick through these mushroom trips uh i've realized that this the the worth that we put on ourselves is is a very extremely hilarious idea it's almost gesture like like if you actually sit there and you look at yourself and say, how worth it am I to the world? Um, the outcome, and I hope this doesn't hurt anybody, is that you should just feel okay feeling worthless to the world. Like, low-key, uh, a lot of people feel like they have so much inherent value and worth, and they want that. They want this inherent value and worth, right? Uh, people want to be something like uh, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk and, and all that. And while that'd be nice, uh, think about what they have to fucking do on a daily basis. Like the, 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 there's a, there's a, there's a very big cognitive dissonance that you aren't recognizing, unfortunately. Um, but these people are, are capable of. Uh, that they're willing to do, right? Like, Elon Musk is an example, <laughs> right? Like, people that I, I know that that admire Elon Musk think about him as a, as a great, great human being. And arguably, I think he, he he's a great ego. Uh, he has a very positive ego. Uh, as a human being, I, I, I don't know him well enough. Fuck me, who knows? I Like, that's... Yeah, y'all are you're all a bit twisted when it comes to appreciating people. Anyway, really quick. So when it comes back to this idea that like Elon Musk is perfect, like, what about ah uh, shit? I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about. Uh, let's dial that back. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna shut up and I'm gonna I'm gonna consume some water. <laughs> My life is weird, man. Right now, I've been going through a whole lot of stuff. I think I was talking about my mushroom trips originally, and I started rambling. Let's just keep going. So, mushroom trip experience. Uh, one of the biggest things was 
originally when I started taking mushrooms, it was just like for fun, right? So you, you know, take your shrooms and try to get into your mushroom space and vibe and have fun and listen to music and everything was cool. And But then I started taking like a bit higher doses. And one of the things that I realized was that like I have been hurting myself for a long time. Like, I've been hurting my brain. I've been not letting, like, my brain... I've not been letting it even get rest. I haven't even been treating it right with vitamins. I just haven't been treating myself right at all. And these are things that I have been having to come to terms with. And that's very important because... Um, clearly, I didn't care about it as much before. You know? One of the things that I've recently learned and I've appreciated, I probably talked about it before, is that I smoke too much weed. Uh, and I obviously do drink too much. But what I'm learning about now is I can control that, you know, like more and more. Like I can control that. So uh, earlier today, I went and went out, decided to eat, got some stuff from my mother, uh, grocery wise, and uh, I got weak and I drank and the thing that I decided on doing was saying hey I can consume this much amount and this should allow you to at least do something and I did it um and I worked out and I did that and I was super awesome was it perfect no but at least at least I'm finally taking these moments to sit here and say like you can you can chip away at these these blocks in your life, you know? And that's the truth. Uh, a, a, any block that you have in your life, you can chip away at it, right? Like, uh, But you have, to, you have to spend the time to chip away at it. And the thing is, it's always going to be hard to chip away at it. That's the truth. It's always hard to do anything worthwhile. Um, and the problem is, you feel like you should spend the time doing something worthwhile and it should be worthwhile doing it and that is wrong that is absolutely fucking wrong you need to you need to get rid of that idea right now anything that's worthwhile doing do it fucking half-assed if you have to fucking do it the least way you could ever spend as little time as you can but do it anything worthwhile doing it's worthwhile doing at any level. And the thing is, if you don't if you don't want to do it from the get-go, when you dive into it a little bit, usually it becomes a lot more entertaining and far more doable eventually as you go throughout it. So there are people out there that, you know, maybe don't want to start something that that are not comfortable starting something because uh it's daunting. And you know what? Everything's daunting. Let's just be honest there. Everything is daunting. Um, and the truth is, not starting something, if you really look at it, is just as daunting as just fucking starting it in the first place. Sitting there and saying, I'll never succeed, is just as daunting as never trying. So, where are you going to go? <laughs> like, just... Just do stuff. Um... Right, trying to get back to the mushroom trips. Uh, that's the thing. I've learned that um, I've had this ego that's prevented me from accepting a lot of what I do and what I can do and what I can achieve. I've um, put a lot of walls in places, um, unfortunately. Mostly because... I've sat there and I've said, I haven't been fed this type of stimulus and I don't know how to react to it enough to deal with it. Therefore, I don't deserve it. So, um, as an example, full disclosure, I feel like I am reasonably intelligent and that I can get through most problematic situations well enough that if I were to just throw myself into certain situations, I would probably deal okay. 
but the problem is I have zero confidence in my abilities, despite me proving myself time and time again that I can overcome any problem that's thrown at me. It's this weird um, lack of confidence that prevents me from succeeding. Um, and it, it ranges from stuff like uh, playing with my yo-yo, you know, to uh, dealing with my own alcoholism or my own other addictive problems that I might have. Um, basically, mostly alcoholism and, and marijuana use at this point, right? Like, I thank God I, I use... I use mushrooms very sparingly, but oh, those trips are wild, and I always like talking about them. Um, but I don't know. I guess it was just nice to talk. I don't know where the hell this is going, but I recorded something and got it out. Um. Meh. I'll probably rewatch it and see if I'll upload it. I don't know what the title is. I don't even know if any of it was any good. I just feel like I fucking rambled for 21 minutes. And the next time I ever do this again, it'll be the same useless shit. So, I don't know. Let me know if I'm stupid as fuck or not, I guess. <laughs> Love y'all, whoever y'all are, keep it real.